What's up? What's up, people? You probably wonder what I got on my head right now. I don't really know what it is. Something my son had. I don't know. Speaking of, he's gonna come interrupt this video. So I met up with uh, Audit in America this weekend, and uh, this is this is this isn't an audit. We did a lot of them, but this isn't an audit. This this is someone who doesn't understand the First Amendment. Um, audit in America kind of pushed this situation to kind of inform them. They took it a route that we didn't want to take it, but it ended up going there anyway. And uh, I'm gonna kind of let y'all watch this. Um, I didn't mean to snap the way I did, but I did because kind of off camera, the guy that walked off, you ca I, I heard him say, um, uh, if they don't leave, just sue him. And then the guy that we were talking to that had the plaid shirt on, he was like, yeah, that's right, I'll just do that. And that's when I brought up the litigation fact. Um, for all of you trolls out here, I'm not out here for lawsuits. I could be literally a millionaire off lawsuits right now off my channel, but it's not like that's not what I'm out here for, okay? I don't need money. But um, so I'm gonna post that video and I'm gonna let y'all watch that. These guys have no idea what the First Amendment is, and so we show them that. Y'all check this out. I'll be back in a minute. I agree with what we're doing. We haven't believe in the First Amendment. You believe in the so First I'm out here with Audit in America. And How? You're choosing to converse with us. No, we're not. We're gonna stand right here. Dude, come on. There's no need for that. We're not doing anything wrong. You're choosing to converse with us. We're just video recording. We're just video recording. Call the cops. There's nothing they can do about it. There isn't. So if how we're harassing, you're talking to us. This is a dialogue. You're talking to us. So, brother. So, let me ask you a question. You don't have that right over this sidewalk. No, you. No, we're not in your establishment. You're an idiot. Just stop talking. You don't own this sidewalk. You've made yourself like a complete ass out here. And if you try to make us move, we're gonna have you tied up in so much litigation, your grandkids will need lawyers to live life. So just shut your ass up and just and just stop. Just stop. You like a complete ass out here. We're citizen journalists. You don't have to talk anymore. He's embarrassed himself. Yeah. Stop. He's embarrassed himself already. He's just stop. 90 million people is gonna see this in a matter of an hour because he's an idiot. That's why the cops left. So I'm out here with Audit in America and he got me into some shit that I don't want to be in it right now. But that's what this guy does when we're together. He gets me in some shit. So so this guy here in the in the shirt thinks that he can do something that cops didn't do themselves. The cops walked off and he thinks just because he owns this business here in Kanavi that he controls this sidewalk here. He's in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Don't say it because it makes me laugh. Don't say it. Don't say it. I keep, I keep y'all updated. Y'all stay tuned. And so, uh, so after we had this conversation, the guy that walked off that had the gray uh, collar shirt on, we found him talking to the cops that were down like a block or so down. We found them talk, found him talking to them. And this is when I told Audit America, listen, let me go ask these questions. Um, not that he wasn't fully capable of doing it, but I just really wanted to dig into the brain of that cop and find out why he just kind of threw it under the rug. He had a chance of a lot of educating right there, and he didn't do it. So that's what this clip is right here. And uh, I'll post audits later today. I got some stuff I got to do with my kiddos. Y'all watch this. Enjoy. I'm back. I promise. Well, this gentleman told you because, yeah, I mean, you know what? I'm going to be nice. What did he tell y'all? We just want to know what he said. Have your body count been rolling the whole time? We're all about accountability, so, you know. I just want to know what he said. Because due to the restriction of our First Amendment, they tried that. And so y'all just going to let that happen? Did you inform him that, that, that we have the right to film in a public area? And now he's leaving because he and was an idiot earlier and now he's leaving. Shame. That's the walk of shame. He's very rude. Yeah. So, 
He was being called out on being an idiot earlier, and that's why he left. And who's the highest ranking officer here in this situation? I am. You are. So you're gonna let that gentleman walk off with the restriction of our First Amendment, and then you're gonna let a, and then you're gonna let another officer walk off without informing him that we're completely legal right now. That's just what you do. I'm, I'm sorry. Now you're gonna play like you don't know what we're talking about. So. Okay. That's what you're doing. What is what is the restriction of your first amendment that you're concerned about? They tried to tell us that we couldn't film where we were and that they own that sidewalk. Okay. Well, is that true? Have, they do have a responsibility to maintain that sidewalk. Responsibility and, and law are two totally different things. Well, they they do have a responsibility under law. Under law. Under the late night establishment ordinance. And tell me what that entails. So if I'm standing on that sidewalk, they have the responsibility to override the constitution and tell me I can't be there. They can tell you not to block their their doorway. I, I wasn't in, in the doorway. I was on the sidewalk. Okay. It's the difference. So what you're telling me is that he had every constitutional right to tell me what he told me. He can tell you what he, what he told you, yes. Well, he can tell us whatever he wants, but that doesn't mean he's, you know, he's telling us the correct thing. He has a he has a right to maintain the, the front of his business. And we have a right to film in a publicly accessible area, so... But did you tell him that part? Did I tell him that yeah. part? Yeah. You didn't. So you just let him walk up here and tell you what he wants to tell you without telling him the truth. So you he, had a he flagged, he flagged us down. So you had a chance a to inform someone of what was right and what was wrong, and you chose to overlook it. So being the highest ranking officer out here, you have a job and obligation that we pay you out of our tax money to do, and you didn't do it. And you got two two lesser ranking officers here that watch what you do, hoping one day to have your job, and you didn't do your job in front of them. So that's what you do. Okay. I was talking to them because they flagged us down. That I'm still doesn't change you. the fact that you have a job to do, regardless okay. of who's talking to you. So that's what you do. You have a chance to do the right thing, and you don't do it. Okay. But but they take money out of our check and out of these people's checks to pay you and pay you guys yeah. to do the right thing, and y'all don't do it. Too, but the money in your check is still coming out of my check. So it doesn't matter what they take out of your check. It comes out of my check first. But it comes out of my check first. So you're telling us that you're... Are you funded by some private organization? That's right. No, you're not. You're funded out of exactly. So again, y'all have a job to do that. We pay taxes with our taxes. So you have a job to do that. I pay you, he pay you, and he pay you to do, and you chose not to do it for what reason? Why didn't you inform him of what was going on? Which means you work for us. We don't work for you. You don't tell us what to do until you break the law. You guys are all under us. And so we got, we got, we got a complaint about your behavior, and then you came walking up to talk to us. Okay. So now I'm talking to you. I'm not okay. saying so. You're missing my point. Okay. The guy that came up to talk to you first. Yes. Did you inform him of what we were doing? No, you did not. So you had a chance to do the right thing and you chose not to. Okay. That's my problem with you. They take okay. money out of our checks to pay you to do a fucking job and you don't do it. Okay. That's just, the problem. I just walked up here because this officer. Was you're skipping over the point. I get what you're doing okay. here. It's not going to work. Your reverse psychology isn't going to work. There's a guy that came up to you to complain about okay. illegal activity. So instead of informing him of that that it was illegal activity, you chose to overlook it because of pride. Why? That's not. It's not illegal activity for him to say that he, you need to clear the. I didn't say that. The illegal activity was the fact that he was complaining about our legal. It's activity. not illegal. It's not illegal for him to complain. He told you that what we were doing, he had a problem with. Did you inform him that that it was legal? No. no. So now the next time he has that same problem, he's gonna complain about it. When you had a job to do to tell him they're completely legal, let it happen. You didn't do that. You okay. like so. What's the purpose of your rights. job right now? You're supposed to protect our rights. Okay. So what's the purpose of your job right now? I don't want a card. I don't want to talk to you. You, you had a job to do and okay. you didn't do I'll it. Take your card. You'll I'll take, take your card. card. All right. You, know you had a job to do and you didn't do it. That's my problem with you. I'm not upset. I'm literally policing the police. It shouldn't take me to come out here to tell you to do your job when there's three officers right here. You all know the Constitution. You all made it through Academy. And you're going to let a man come complain about a constitutionally protected activity and not correct him about it. That's my problem with you. We can eliminate all this problem out here, but it starts with you. And you didn't do your job. So now we're going to have another problem right, when on. he sees another guy here filming when you could have done it right here and say, you know what? Those guys are doing what they're allowed to do. Okay. Just ignore them. But you didn't do that. So do you see my problem now? I'm not saying that you're the problem. I understand your, I understand your But reason. the lack of a conversation okay. is the problem. And then not only you, there's two other uniformed guys here that didn't inform him of that. That's my problem. Okay. Well... When somebody makes a complaint, okay, we talk to them, we talk to the other parties involved, and sometimes we're not we're not going to say the thing that you want us to say, and I'm sorry. Well, but we, have we, we resolve the situation. You but that's your you job. Have to, you have to say what we want you to say. Because no, I do not have to say the thing you yes, want you to do, say. Yes, you do. No. To I have, to, in, I have to investigate. You have to investigate. So you let the truth just completely go law. out the door. So you let the truth just go out the door. Yep. You just don't tell them what the truth is, and you just let them say what you got to say, and then you let them leave. This officer that just left, 
Uh -huh. He said we were being rude just because we were recording and we requested. And he called us, at, and he said that we were being uh, assholes. Okay. Yeah. What, what's that all about? You know okay. I mean? Well, he's entitled. He's, he's, enti he's entitled. He's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled. So. No, no, no. This is your my problem job, with that statement. Your job says that you're supposed to be courteous. If one of them okay. were to say that I don't like his language, you can write me a ticket for offensive language on the sidewalk for saying that. But an officer tells us that we're being assholes uh, and you overlook that. I'm not going to write you a ticket you're, for you're your offensive be, language. Listen, in what job do you get to, to call somebody an asshole and I'm, still get I'm, to keep your all job? All right, I'm done. There's a, a lot of officers. There's a lot of jobs.